Hey, Carl, it's great to see you. And we have Mark Lazar here. Uh, Avenue Capital, it's great to see you, sir. My pleasure. Um, and we were just saying we haven't had a, a chance to hang out or talk, really. So I'm actually fascinated to understand what you think is going on in the economy right now. But specifically, you spent a lot of time on credit and you've lived through credit crises before. Um, are we out of one or are we in one? Oh, you're definitely in one. I think it's, uh, for us, it's going to be one of the best times ever, um, mainly because banks are going to slow down on lending. So for someone like me, I can end up lending and I can lend today, if you think about it, I can lend at a senior at a secured basis and I can get 12, 15 percent, which is really unheard of. Um, so you're just getting massively overpaid for the risk today. So do you think that in terms of the crisis, we get, you know, Jamie Dimon used the word crisis several times in his annual letter recently. When you look at the regional banks, when you look at the banking sector, where do you think we are in that? I think you have issues. And I think the problem is if you are imagine you're the CEO of a company that's got money at a regional bank. All right. Do you think you have a fiduciary interest to move that money to one of the money center banks to make sure you have no risk? Right. Because all that happens is if a year later there's a problem, somebody's going to say to you, look, that was obvious. Why didn't you do it? And you can't say, well, I was trying to keep the regional bank alive or I was trying to do my bit to help the community um, because nobody's going to care about that. They care about that today. But from a legal standpoint, people are going to have an issue with that. So I think the Fed has to deal with that issue sooner or later. And you would do it how? I mean, right now, there's still an implicit guarantee around, around guarantee. deposits. But there's not an explicit one. I would do one of two things. I would have a guarantee so that at least everybody knows the Fed is there. Or I would say, if you take your money out, you would use sort of like a little bit like the bankruptcy laws. And you would end up saying that if you take your money out within a year, we could come back and come after you um, because you ended up forcing that bank into insolvency. So you can have a look back. So therefore, you know, you don't want to be the first one out, because if you are and you create that issue, right. you're going to be the person who ends up having your money taken away. So you were talking about how folks are now coming to you. for. I mean, you are the I, I hate to use the phrase that you are, you've become the shadow banking system. Yes, to some degree. which is horrible. We shouldn't be. I mean, it's great for our firm, but I don't think it's great for the country. Banks and for people, you should be able to borrow at five, six, seven, eight percent. You shouldn't be coming to us to borrow at 15 percent. On the trading side of your life, though, do you look at any of these regional banks or any, anything in the financial space and say, you know what, that's a deal, I'll take that? I, I, I don't think the risk is worth it today because you're not getting paid enough for that, for me to go out and buy those bonds and try to make sort of, you know, 10, 12 percent. Um, I'd want to get paid a lot because if you look at what happened with Signature Bank, um, literally within three days, it evaporated. And so, you know, you're not buying those bonds at 90 or 95. If you want to take that risk, I'd want to buy those bonds at 50. And none of those regional banks, that's not what... What about commercial real estate, for example, right now? I think that's going to be a problem. I think it's... And are people coming to you? Um, no, not really, because nobody can afford to pay what we would charge, right? So I think all that's going to happen is what happened during 2008 banks are going to have to keep extending. Because even though the money is due, if you can't pay off the bank, what's the bank going to do? They're right. going to come in and foreclose? No, they'll just extend it.